Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Cue It Up with the Q Brothers. As always, I'm John Quattrucci. And I'm Ralph Quattrucci. How you doing today, Ralph? Oh, I'm fantastic. Thank you for asking. Uh, let me just say up front, Ralph has been anticipating this uh, broadcast uh, I have, yes. uh, for the whole week. Couldn't be any more excited about it. Why don't you all, oh, first um, of all, well, first of all, hit the like and subscribe. This will be a tricky one because I'm not sure who wants to watch this stuff, to be honest I with may, you. There I, might be a whole you know, crowd of people after, out there. After this episode, they might not want to subscribe. I, or share. Yeah, maybe. Because you seem angry about it. I'm not it, angry. I just don't know what to say. That's all. But go ahead. I don't. Well, Why first don't of all, you? I don't buy that. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so let me tell you what the genre is. Oh. I'm not even going to ask you. Well, yeah, I am going to ask you because you just told me something. So, Ralph, how's your week going? Ah, my week's fine. Fine. Watched a couple movies. My water heater's dead. Okay, uh, that's what I wanted yeah, to other than that, Your water heater fine. died. That they happened say, today. Yeah, they say cold showers are very healthy for you. Let's see. I almost died. I took one. I thought I was going to have a heart attack. <laughs> no, cold showers are nasty. It's very cold. So, Oh, so you're not going to have uh, – so you have to find someone yeah. relatively quickly because you're not going to have water to clean the dishes. Exactly. Ah, uh, that's funny right, we'll though. Get the we kids on that, Ralph. yeah, but we barely clean the dishes anyway in this house, so it's fine. I'll just buy some paper. You know plates. what, Ralph? I was just gonna say paper plates. That's what I'm gonna do. That's all I got. Plastic forks. Plus, it's COVID friendly. Yes. Throw uh, them away. Um. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, so that's about it. Go ahead, Ralph. That's it. Well, no, what do you got? What did you do this week? You sounded like you wanted to say something. Ah, uh, nothing. I'm good. Uh, I'm very excited because I'm having a shed built oh. for my backyard. So I'm finally going to get to clean out my garage. And I ordered it two months ago and it's being installed on Wednesday. Is it heated? So I'm very excited about that. Okay. I've never had a shed before oh. and it's going to uh, allow me to clean the garage. I've got so much crap. Are you in building the it or are you hiring someone to build it? No, no, I'm having someone build it and uh, hmm. it's going to be the same color as the house. So it's going to look nice. It's not one of those real expensive ones. I didn't want anything like that, but, um, it's gonna be it's gonna be neat to have. So I'm excited about that. It doesn't take much to get me excited in these days of COVID. So I'm gonna enjoy that on Wednesday. Unnecessary um, zoom. So we talked about <laughs> we talked about we're doing Wayne's World now. All right. Um, we we weren't sure what genre we wanted to do, and I guess because this is now knows, is it, wait let's is this now a genre based show? We're losing some of the no. Okay. No, but uh, I, what we said was when we talked about this, we're going to do a, a couple of those. Every now and then we we do family stuff. We mm -hmm. haven't done that in a while. Right. And every now and then we do a movie review. Okay. Um, but the genre thing I like because we make our recommendations for the genre, but we also it branches off to all these other movies. And it's fun to talk about the movies and how our taste sometimes is re actually pretty close, but other times it's so – Polar opposites. It's pretty interesting. Right. And I know this particular genre, which I love, and I know I, I, I would I would say you're not a big fan of. You just make it sound like you don't know much about it. Perhaps. Is that am I saying that right? Yeah, but well, you know, when you when you gave me the homework to do comic book films, I was like, I don't Which by the way is the genre. It's comic book films. Okay. So we didn't my, say my the genre. So. Okay. My first Reaction is, oh, I don't like Marvel films. I don't watch a lot of Marvel films and Spider-Man and all that. And then it turns out, because when I do the research, I look at a list of all the, and there's tons and tons of films that I had no idea started out as comic right. book films. Of course, I'm wearing a t-shirt for the best comic book film ever made, which is uh, Howard the Duck. And that, of course, is one of, uh, I've got a list of the worst comic book movies ever made, and Howard the Duck is predominantly featured. Is this uh, one of George Lucas's original failures or what? He directed that. Oh, one, that didn't was he? his first failure. Yeah, right. right. He directed. It. Anyway, yeah. uh, I'm not he, endorsing. He produced it. He didn't direct it. Is he that Deadpool talking it. behind you right now? Yeah, that's Deadpool. Okay. Yeah, he'll, every now and then he'll spot out something. I am not endorsing um, Howard the Duck. I just thought the T-shirt was cool. No, and, and I would lose all respect for you if indeed you did. I don't know why wow. endorse that movie. You shut Deadpool and, up. Deadpool's talking Tim, a lot back there. Tim, Ru that's what Deadpool does. <laughs> Okay, so sad. How old are you, okay. by the way? Uh, I just turned thirty-five. Yeah. Okay. So, all right. I'm let's get to this. Let's right, get I want to, to shut it. him off. Hold on one okay, second. Shut him off. I can't believe you. Oh. Does Rose like those things? 
Oh, you didn't hear me. I'm sorry. You can't hear me. <laughs> that was a Christmas gift from uh, Rose. I was going to say, does she like when you put those on? Put what on? Uh, no, that's not a mask, is it? It's just a head that sits there. <laughs> The Deadpool. <laughs> okay, let's get to this. We've already lost 50% of the three people that I watch us I wanted to anyway. talk about comic book movies. Ralph wasn't too excited about it. He did a little I mean, research. Found I did out some research. A lot yeah. of these are based on graphic novels, right. not just comic books. Correct. So, again, what we do is, and this might go all over the place, because Ralph has already announced to me he's not going to do much talking. Definitely. So, going all over uh, the place. But, but how this works is we make recommendations of comic book movies that we think you should see. And then we're going to go off on a tangents on all kinds of different comic book movies. And one of the things I've got a big list of, of movies that I really enjoy. Uh, I have four movies that you should avoid at all costs, really, really poor adaptation of comic books. So as always, Ralph, you're going to start first. Okay. Uh, and uh, again, uh, uh, I've been told that, that I, that I, uh, I give away the, when I do my three right away, I'm giving away the suspense of the three films. But I'm not even going to do three films because, I, like I said, you know, I'm just going to list the ones I that I like. Wait, 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 I don't understand. You give away the suspense. Well, of the I, what three I was films? doing in these genre thing is I would tell you my three right away, and then I'd explain the. Three. Oh yeah, you'd put the posters up. I right had away. no build up. There was no. Let's say, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, I have foreplay. No, idea. no foreplay. Oh. I went right into the. I went right into the action. And here's the other thing, Ralph. Which uh, normally to get the media, I have to give Ralph all my picks, so he has posters and stuff. We're not doing that this time. We're going to put everything in post, so he doesn't know the movies I'm going to pick. Right. I don't know the movie. We'll he's figure that pick. out. I mean, we don't. We don't like. I to mean, give Ralph's away. got an idea. Obviously, we don't like to give away. Yeah, the inside baseball. Don't give away the tricks we do. People think we do this live. Now you're telling them we edit later. It doesn't. It takes away some of the magic. But anyway. I'm just going to, listen, again, obviously there are the quintessential comic book movies. I'll just say right off Superman 1978, the film Superman, obviously based on Superman comics. Spider-Man, Sam Raimi's first one, the first Spider-Man, that I know right away is based on a comic book. What I didn't know were movies like Men in Black. I forgot that that's based yep. on a comic book. Um, yep. Tom Cruise's Edge of Tomorrow. I had no idea that was based on a comic book or a yep. All anime. you need is kill. The, okay. The anime was called. And as I looked through the list, that because when I looked at, you know, I had to look at a list because I had no idea. Judge Dredd, another First. one that I love. Um, wait, wait, wait. You, Dredd, Dredd, Dredd or Judge Dredd? Dredd. I like yeah, Dredd, Dredd, not Kurt, Judge Dredd. Not Kurt, the, Kurt. Uh, Urban. Urban. Kurt Urban. Urbane. I Urban. said Kurt Cobain. Don't say Cobain. <laughs> Keith Urban. It's not Kurt. It's Keith, isn't it? Keith no. Urban. No, no. Keith Urban's the, 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 the country singer, isn't he? Keith? Keith Urban. Oh, yeah. man, I can't believe yeah. this. It's Dread. It's Dread. It's not that. Okay, and of course, What's uh, his I read name? Carl Urban with a K. Carl Urban. Okay, yeah, right, okay. right. Um, Dude, I that read... movie was great, by the way. I love that movie, Dread. Yeah, it's really good. Did you ever see- uh... That was really good. Way better than Judge Dread with Sylvester Stallone. Yeah, but did you ever see the- I the bar! Oh, sorry. Your microphone super, super over-modulates right then. Sorry. And I was about to make a profound statement, and now I forgot. Um, I read three comic books, not three literally, but three, like I used to read Iron Man and I used to read Spider-Man. These were all John's comic books he'd have laying around the house. Those are the only ones I read. So I was interested when Spider-Man became a film and Iron Man, of course, to see how they were going to create. I mean, Superman actually, like I said, Superman started the whole thing. So I'd read the, oh, Flash Gordon. I'm looking over the list. Flash Gordon, another one based on a comic book. I'm talking the Queen movie, Flash Gordon. Yeah. Uh, from the uh, 70s or 80s. League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, which isn't a great movie, but I love it. It's one of those ones that's pretty bad, but I just love watching it. That's based on comic book. I mean, I mean, you could ask me questions. There's Howard the Duck, voted number 73 off this list. So, Well, um, okay, wait. So you're not, you're not a big fan of the genre. Well, I don't read comic... Listen, I didn't read really read comic books as a kid. Okay. Okay, I did, but I'm not even talking about... I'm not even talking about a faithful adaptation to a comic or you like the comic so you like the movie. I'm just asking you, if someone were to ask you, name three comic book movies that you really enjoy, whether you knew they were a comic or not, and you would recommend them. 
Super. Maybe someone who doesn't like the genre, okay. like you. What just, would you recommend? Can, can I get these three out of the way and then you talk? Can yeah. we just do that? Superman, Spider-Man, Iron Man. Boom, that's it. Okay? Okay. Now, I'm not saying I like those better than Edge of Tomorrow or Men in Black or a movie that I didn't really know was a com the comic book. The one I did know, I collected the Frank Miller Dark Knight series that he did back in the 80s. Yeah, I the, think they were the comic Dark books. Dark Knight Return. Yeah, which were graphic yeah, novels. Graphic. Yeah. That I think Christopher Nolan kind of based his version of batman a little bit the joker was a little more serious in in his version than the other ones and and um it had a you know had a graphic feel so i did i did have those i specifically bought those thinking they'd be cool because it was frank miller who did sin city and a bunch of other stuff i right. haven't even seen sin city all the way through so i guess it's just not a genre or a what do you, i mean a whatever a comic book thing that i and again i'm saying that and looking at the list going, wow, I had no idea that was a comic book. Right. Bup, 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 bup. But those were, if you ask me the three top that I would recommend, it would be Superman, Iron Man, Spider-Man. Okay. Uh, uh, so I'll, I'll talk about Superman later because that's number one on my list. Okay. Okay. But why Spider-Man? Because I love the Spider-Man comic book. That, that comic book, I like the character. I like the attitude. And... Um, that was interesting to see Sam Raimi put that up on the, you know, there were TV shows and cartoons and all that. Yeah. Um, but that's the one that I actually remember reading as a teenager was Spider-Man. I just like the attitude of that one. And the first and, one, and he, it, he, he did a pretty good job, Sam Raimi did, of capturing that uh, on the screen, I thought. Yeah, I thought the CGI in that was really well used. A little bit, yeah. Compared, compared to like the Marvel films. Yeah where it's all CGI. Uh, so I like that. And it was, it was a pretty faithful adaptation too, because yeah. he loved the character. Sam yeah. Raimi loved the character. Well, a lot of people love Batman too. Batman's one of those characters that people go crazy over. And, uh, you know, the Tim Burton Batman, when it came out, was, was well done too. I thought that was a good adaptation of that character. But again, I, wasn't, I didn't go to see it because it was a comic book. And then it be, I, I don't know, that particular one, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't correlate the two comic book to film things. Superman, I think, probably because they made such a big deal out of the fact, and you can talk about it in more depth down a little bit down later, but, you know, you're going to see a man fly on screen. It was all that stuff that really that film was wrapped around. Just the essence of a Superman comic, which I think the, the later one, Man of Steel, didn't capture, which is the innocence and the wonder of Superman. But anyway, that's, that's a whole other podcast, I think. So tell me, I mean, you want to do your three... You want to take it slow, say I'm slow and give me a little surprise or what's going to happen here? Wait, what was the last one? You said Spider-Man. What was the third one? I said Iron Man. Iron Man. Iron Man. Okay, why did you like Iron Man? I think it has all to do with Robert Downey Jr.'s yeah. uh, you know, take on that character. I think he, he, nailed, he nailed the essence of that character too. And the first one, and the, and the first one, you know, who directed that? That was John... Um, John Favreau. Favreau. They did a real nice job bringing that one to the screen, I thought. Now, yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy, a film like that, is that a, is that a comic book as well? Yes. So there you go. Yeah. I mean, I love that film, yeah. not because yeah. I read the comics. I just thought the film was great. So I guess I yeah, like the comic. I, the comic originally was very different than that version of it. Um, but yeah, it's based on a comic. The only movie oh. that I watched and then said I want to go back and read the comic was Watchmen. Yeah. Because it was billed as such a faithful representation of the comic book, right to the structure of the way they laid out the film and the visual elements they used to sim yeah, yeah. simulate. He so, did comic panels. Yeah. He took panels yeah. right from the book. Yeah. And, and the I thought novel. that, and as a movie, I thought that was well done. You know, I retroactively went back and just kind of perused through the comics. And then HBO did their version of it, and I thought yeah. they did a nice job, too. They took a different... A different yeah. take on it but i thought it was well done so i mean i guess i i have comic book films in my life i just didn't it just doesn't like i don't make the t t i don't correlate the two all the time so yeah but you, you've obviously when you looked at that list you've actually seen a lot of comic oh, book yeah. movies turns out i did you just did i yeah. had no idea yeah so. well okay so so okay any uh, so what are some other ones that uh, uh well you know what i'll give you my list and well, then we I can mean, just quickly I, like i said edge of tomorrow the Tom Cruise. Which was a very, I loved that movie. That, that was a good movie. Yeah, I'm looking at another one, Road to Perdition yeah. with Tom Hanks, Paul yeah. Newman. No idea that was a comic. I love that yeah. film. Mystery Men, another one Yeah. with Ben Stiller. Love that film. Yeah. Had no idea it was a Mr. comic. Mr. Furious. Film. Yeah. 
Um, Pressure. So, and on and on and on. That's the beauty of these lists, right? History it's of a, Violence with Viggo Mortensen. That's a comic book? Yeah. See? Graphic I, novel. I love that film, yeah. too. Now, was it a yeah. graphic novel before it was a film, or did they make the graphic yeah, yeah, novel? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. See? Didn't know that. The Punisher, yeah. which was not a great movie with Thomas Jane. Um, yeah. I liked it. Thomas Jane, Don Travolta. Uh, Kick-Ass is another one, that, right? That I guess was a comic, too. Kick-Ass was good. I mean, there's a huge list. If you go down these lists, yeah, Tank I had sucked. no... The, the Fountain. I had no idea that was a comic book movie with Hugh Jackman and um, Darren Aronofsky directed that one. So I'm just... Again, I'm looking at this list. So, yeah. Oh, the other one that I love, which it's not the greatest movie, is Constantine with Keanu Reeves. Uh, yeah, with Keanu Reeves. That's based on a comic as well, so... The TV series is more accurate to the comic. Well, I don't, I don't care about that. I, I, I thought the he's film English. Was good. He's English. He's a blonde Englishman. Okay, that's quite different than the movie. Um, it is, and the guy who played him was really good. So it turns out I watch a lot of comic book movies, but I yeah. I don't watch them. You just because, didn't realize it. because they're comic book movies. I'm right. Not, yeah. So well, I mean, I, I, I well, I definitely watch some of these movies because I was a fan of the comic. Sure. But it's the genre too. It's the side. Those are the movies I really enjoy. And I read, you know, you know this, I read comics. I have a huge comic book collection. Right. But I, uh, my f number one is Superman, the motion picture, 1978. And I'm going to put a link down in the bottom because we did actually on our other podcast, Yippie ki -yay, we actually did an episode on Superman yeah. where we get into great detail about it. But for me, um, superhero movies and TV shows were strictly for kids and they weren't taken seriously and studios didn't put a lot of money into them. And all these movies that you see today, Batman, the X-Men, the Avengers, um, I'm not saying they wouldn't have happened, but Superman, the motion picture, opened the door for all these movies. It was a huge box office hit. They pumped a lot of money into it. They took it, um, they took it seriously without being serious. Right. Because it's, a very, it's got a very light tone to it up, up until the end of the movie. And Christopher Reeve is the only guy to play Superman who played two distinct roles. If you look at the movies now, even even uh, the TV show with George Reeves, there was no difference in the personalities of the characters. Yeah. Christopher Reeve made it a difference. You might, you might think he went over the top or whatever, but to me it worked uh, because everyone says, well, how can someone like that, uh, the glass is the only thing that makes them look different. So, so plus you had Gene Hackman, Marlon Brando. It was a serious cast. Richard Donner directed it. Mario Puzo wrote it. Tom Mankiewicz also co-wrote it. So these were heavy hitters. Uh, and and to your point, you know, the whole tagline was "You'll believe a man can fly." And from even from today's standards, the special effects still hold up. Okay. Um, yeah, that's true. But for me, that's number one because I, okay. I'm still. Uh, you can see my stuff back there. Yeah. I'm a huge Superman fan. He's my favorite. Um, the second one I put, uh, The Dark Knight, Christopher Nolan, okay. Dark Knight, 2008, with Christian Bale. I liked all three movies. I thought the third one was okay. I thought the yeah. second one was the best. And yeah, it's it more than just Heath Ledger's performance as the Joker, which was spectacular. But what I love about Christopher Nolan was, and it was less about The Dark Knight Returns, which you brought up. Actually, Batman, the original Batman wouldn't have happened if not for The Dark Knight Returns. So it influenced that movie way more than this movie. What I what I really liked about this movie was Christopher Nolan took the approach, if a superhero existed in the real world, right. what would it be like? And this was the closest thing to a grounded superhero movie, right? Okay. Even to The Joker, where he was more an anarchist than anything else, right? Right. But back to... He shoots, you know, he shoots a couple scenes in IMAX. Yep. The the performances, Heath Ledger, Christian Bale, um, uh, uh, the guy who played two. Uh, I'm drawing a blank on it. Oh. Uh, the guy who played Harvey Dent. That was um, um, yeah, him. We'll go back and <laughs> I'm plug not going to say in. his name, but no. the performances were, were just so good. Um, so 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 again, I, I really enjoyed that. And the last one. <clears throat> of my top three, and believe me, I've got a, I've got a huge list here. But uh, out of all the Marvel movies, people always ask me which one do I think is the best. I don't think Iron Man is the best. I think I the success of Iron Man and the way Favreau directed it and the way Robert Downey Jr. played it. If not for that success, 
None of the other movies would have happened. Well, he paved the okay. way for uh, paved the way for all of it, right? Kind of. Yeah, absolutely. And when right. you think about DC versus Marvel, yeah, DC has all the iconic characters: yeah. Spider Man, uh, excuse me, Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, right? Uh, Marvel doesn't. The only one that's really iconic is Spider Man. Iron Man was a B character, so they're like, you're going to put Iron Man as the first movie. And because of that success, they said Guardians of the Galaxy would never have happened because that was an obscure comic that not a lot of people read, right? So f- for me, the best Marvel movie is Captain America Winter Soldier. The Russo brothers directed that. And the storyline's good. The, the, they made what is a, you know, the knock on Superman always is he's a boring character. And Captain America was always thought that too. He's a boring character. In that movie, Captain America was cool. He kicked ass. And um, the practical effects in that movie are spectacular. Because I found uh, with some of the whole Endgame thing, it was just too cartoony with all the CGI. Yeah. And I, I didn't like that. I, I thought it took something away from it. That's why I like the Winter Soldier. Um, so for me, if I was to say... Here are three. If if you're not a comic book movie fan, here are three movies. If you watch, you might get more interested in the genre of comic book movies. Um, Really, see that's funny. Listen, I would flop that a little bit. Those are predictable comic book movies, right? That's those are the ones everybody knows about, and everybody's into. For some reason, seeing fifty year old dudes walking around with an Avengers shirt on or a a Superman shirt. I mean, I I, listen. I wear it, so I should shut up. But I, I don't get the appeal of trying to like except for the boys on a, the boys that that series that came out where they flipped it and the superheroes were just assholes which i thought was is great i i don't understand the appeal of all the marvel stuff and i would rather turn somebody on to movies that we didn't know were comic book movies and go do you know that was a comic like like i'm sure uh dread happened and the movie raid have you ever seen the movie the raid which is sort of the no. dread version no, i know they, that that dread was kind of based on that oh it's 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 incredible anyway i'm not trying to you know tamp down too much marvel but i just feel like there's other better stuff that's out there that you well, wouldn't I only expect picked to one come marvel with. movie well, in fact you threw two in I fact as i go down the list my list the only yeah i don't even have i don't even have another marvel movie marvel yeah in my list okay. so i'm not like when i think of really really good comic book movies i don't know uh, now let me rephrase that i have ant-man i have ant-man in there because ant-man was really different and i was like how the hell are they going to do ant-man yeah. and ant-man was really it was a heist movie right but it, I, I really enjoyed that one but i think part of it is ralph i think for me it's like i can only speak for myself i was a huge comic book right. fan. well that makes uh, sense Ben. so any i would watch it but when I was a kid growing up, it was the cartoons. It was the 75 Spider-Man with Nicholas Hammond that was awful. The Incredible Hulk with uh, uh, Bill Bixby and Lou Ferrigno. But, but what, like when Superman came out, when you saw that on the big screen and, and you grew up with George Reeves or Shazam, that's probably that's probably true, where he would stand there in front of a green screen. Uh, you think to yourself, well, how good could this possibly be? Because, you know, of what I'm used to. And then when you saw it and the spectacle of it and how big it was and the reaction of adults. I mean, remember, we went to the premiere of that. I know. And they were all critics in there and they were all cheering like a bunch of little kids. Why is that? I think it harkens back to your childhood. We all like superheroes when we were kids. So when you see it on the you see the thing you've been reading on the big screen, I think it has an impact on you. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Yeah. Um, but 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 like like I said, the Marvel movies. I, I listen. I'll I'll tell you what I get down for some of my other lists. I think I totally agree with you on Spider Man. I thought Tobey Maguire was the only thing I didn't like about Tobey Maguire. He cries too much in in all those movies. And I actually think Spider Man Two with Alfred Molina as Doctor Octopus was the better movie of the two. But introducing Spider Man with the technology that they had to to actually make him come to life. Was pretty was pretty unbelievable. It right. was pretty spectacular, spectacular uh, Spider Man. Okay. Um, I had Ant Man, uh, which was directed by Peyton Reed and starred Paul Rudd. Which again, now there was something I'm like Paul Rudd. It just seems so odd casting, and he was really good in it. Yeah, well, and he's, he's good. 
I did research on that. He he rewrote a lot of it. Oh, really? To fit his personality and it worked. I have Watchmen in there. And the reason why I liked Watchmen is how accurate it was to the graphic novel. You're breaking and up. How, and it, did you did you read the graphic novel before you saw the film? I guess you did. Uh I did. Okay. I did. Okay. And I, I didn't think that they could make it into a movie. Well, nobody did. Because of, of how adult it was. Yeah. They changed the ending of it, but uh right. the <clears throat> excuse me, the other one, Batman nineteen eighty nine. Right. Uh and the reason why that's a seminal movie. So so they had talked about making a Batman ten years prior to that film. And at one point Bill Murray was going to be cast as Batman. And it's because all people's reference to Batman was the TV, TV show. show. Sure. So they wanted to make it a comedy. Well, then the Dark Knight Return comes out, which was the you know other than the you know the thirties, uh, uh, late thirties, early forties was the darkest Batman there ever was. So Tim Burton felt like I can make a dark Batman, and he actually almost reinvented in film, but in the comics. Because it definitely changed back to a much darker tone. Plus, you know, you get uh, Jack Nicholson is the Joker. I mean, what a coup that is! And and Michael Keaton, who, if the internet was around then, uh, I can't even imagine because he got absolutely destroyed when it was announced he was cast right. as Batman. Right. And it it was a very good movie. Superman two, which I think was better than the first movie. Uh, I really enjoyed that. Blade mm -hmm. with Wesley Snipes. Directed by Stephen Norrington, a vampire movie. Excellent. There's another show on Netflix. It's not a movie, but it's a series, Daredevil, because mm -hmm. they made a movie with Ben Affleck, and it was horrible. Right. The series is great. Mm -hmm. uh, it went from 2015 to 2018. Really, really well done. Uh, Vincent D'Onofrio, for those who know the comics, plays Kingpin. Uh, and he's great in it. it it's uh, great action scenes. Another one, since I, you know me, I like the classics. The Adventures of Captain Marvel, 1941 Republic Serial. The reason why I recommend that, the special effects, the flying scenes were really, really well done. Mm. Uh, they made a, after this, they made a Superman serial. And every time Superman flew, they animated him. Right. So it looked ridiculous. Uh, Deadpool. That's why I have the head back there. Did you right. like Deadpool? I did. Yeah, Deadpool was great, and yeah. it was rated R. It was just like the comic where he breaks the fourth wall, yeah. talking to everybody. I thought that How was about good. Logan? Did you did you see I Logan? I did see Logan, sure. How'd you like it? I liked it. I mean, James Mangold, yeah. Hugh Jackman, yeah. Wonder Woman. The first one. Which I loved. Ralph and I <laughs> reviewed Wonder Woman 1984. I'll put a link down for that because that movie sucked. Yeah. Um, but for me... If, if I was to have like good old movies, like I, I could only watch these. Those are the ones that I would watch. Okay. And I recommend those. Now the worst. Wait, I want to mention one more. I just noticed on oh, this list uh, called blue is the warmest color, which I was going to use on one of our, it's a, on our buddy film. It's, it's a lesbian, two lesbians. I didn't realize that was a comic before. So I, that seems like one I got to check out. Uh, Cowboys and aliens. I forgot. Yeah, God. I love Harrison that film. Ford. Yep. You're just spouting off comic book movies. My point is, I didn't know that these were comic book films. That's my whole point. I'm surprised. That's all. So tell me but, your. But what's they're your, not. I mean. Uh, oh, by the way, some of those you mentioned just aren't good. By the way, that's the guy right there, Aaron Eckhart. Aaron Eckhart. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's the yeah, guy. Yeah, you, yeah. you can't see it. It's out of focus. But uh, yeah, yeah, Aaron Eckhart. He was excellent. Yeah, he's great. He was excellent. Yep. Yep. Um, now. All right. Here we go. I, Give me your. What, what's the list four. you're about to do? I've got actually five Oof. of the worst comic book movies ever made that at all costs you should avoid watching. Don't say that. Say you don't suggest these. Okay. Okay. If you, if you want to watch a really horrible comic book movie that'll make sure you never watch another one, I recommend these movies. That's better. That's a little more gentle. How's that? Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm going to go with number one, 1998's Batman and Robin, Joel Schumacher. Oh. George Clooney. Is this the nipple one where they have nipples on the bat suit, or is that the they other? They have one? nipples and cod pieces. Nice. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. Uh, Uma Thurman. Yeah. Chris O'Donnell. Yeah. It killed the Batman franchise till Christopher Nolan. Right. It's horrible. Yeah. And the reason why it's so horrible, the toy companies got involved in the production. 
Mm-hmm. So everything was about toys. And Joel, Schum- Joel Schumacher, actually, before he died, apologized to all the fans. But he says that's I mean, why. I do like the ice skating scene they do in there. And uh, there's some oh, weird God. stuff. That, isn't that Uma Thurman in that one, too? Yeah. Poison yeah. And Ivy. then he pulls out the credit card, the bat credit right. card. Don't leave But again, that's based it. on comic book characters, right? Not a specific comic book, correct? Right, right. Okay. But it was very uh, yeah. 1960s um, Batman yeah. was very much like that movie. Yeah, they went tongue-in-cheek, kind of. They went more like the TV show, actually. Or nipples and cod pieces. It was stupid. Like it didn't work. Um, Superman three and four. Really? Is this terrible. number? This is your number yeah. two. So you didn't like Superman yeah. three? Four was bad. I didn't like but, either one. Huh. Now, now four. Christopher Reeve had a hand in the story, but they had no money, so all the flying scenes were terrible. The special effects were bad. Christopher Reeve had a shellac his hair. Uh, it was just, it, it was just not the way you wanted to go out with Superman. He, did he direct that one, or just does he was just a writer? He didn't direct it. Okay. He 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 suggested the story. Okay. And ha- I don't know if he. I don't know if you got a credit for co-writing. Yeah. And that was ridding um, the world of a, nuclear weapons, right? That was what the yeah, whole Yeah, with the nuclear man. Now, Gene yeah. Hackman came back for it. Yeah. And- and um, Needed needed money or John Cryer or was his nephew. Okay. It was awful. Okay. Howard the Duck, which is- That's <sighs> the graphic novel that you got on. Okay. That's not the movie. All right. Well, whatever. Uh, oh, the comic book. Uh, the movie's horrible. It's- I mean, <sighs> it's- Leah, Thompson, Leah Thompson's in there. Was that after Back Leah to the Thompson, Future? She well, did Leah Thompson and the Duck have sex. Oh, what? They do? Yeah. Oh, uh, it's just awful. And George Lucas. I mean, it was a uh, it was a huge budget. Jeffrey Jones plays the bad guy. Tim Robbins is in it. Um, but it's it's terrible. Okay. And the last one. Wait, this you four, probably four. have not seen this. Nineteen mm-hmm. nineties Captain America, America. starring Matt Salinger. Right. Who is J.D. Salinger's son? Yeah, I've seen clips of this on uh, YouTube. And Ned Beatty's in it. Yes. it. So, so if you know anything about the Captain America comics, uh, the Red Skull is a Nazi. In this movie, he was an Italian count. So it was bad. I mean, like really bad. But uh, you know, the good news is. There's so many choices out there. As like, I've proved you know, tonight. I, you know, I want to ask you, Black Panther. Did you see Black Panther? I did watch Black Panther. I thought it was stupid. You know, it's funny because when that movie came out, everyone talked about how great it was. And what I what I, I what I did like about it was the world they created was something I haven't seen before, and I kind of liked that. But I didn't think it was. I didn't think it was a very good movie. I thought it was okay. In fact, yeah. I wouldn't even uh, put it. You in the talk top about 15. CGI, that fight scene they do where yeah. they're all fighting each other up on the waterfall. Yes. It's it just I mean the actors were great, the, the the people playing the women in his in his group and all that. Yeah. And, and Chadwick Boseman was pretty it good. It was good, but it's it's dumb. I mean, it's just I don't yeah. I don't actually don't get the love of that stuff. But again, that's not for me, so it doesn't matter. I did like, I was just looking at the list again, X Men Days of Future Past. Yeah. And I fell in love with the scene where they did time in a bottle and the guys running yeah. through that that kitchen thing. I just thought that was, yeah. Um, But it doesn't make me, like I don't watch these and go, oh, I got to now go back and read the comic except for Watchman because I just wanted to see how close he was to uh, the graphic novel. Uh, That's the only reason I went back to that one. Yeah. I mean, uh, Zack Snyder, I'm not a huge fan of Zack Snyder because uh, all his movies have the same kind of look. Yeah, but that's- You you, you, you can always know a Zack Snyder movie. I loved his Dawn of the Dead. I thought yeah. that was well, well done. It, it, I think he did a great job with Watchmen, uh, the way he captured the graphic novel. But like when he did Batman versus Superman, yeah, well, that was it was horrible. Silly. Right, that was silly. it was horrible. I mean, we're forgetting and, and the Walking why, the Walking Dead. I mean, oh my God, that series yeah. is a phenomenon based on a based on a comic book, and that's right. Still going. I think it's still on. I stopped watching after it is. three it seasons, is but that's still going. But the genre is so huge, you know. Right. And and you know, we watch the boys. Which is based on a comic. The boys is uh, great. You know, so so the genre is getting so much bigger. Obviously, because of CGI, they can do things they couldn't do before. So now you can bring these characters to life. But like, I want to see a good Hulk one, and I love that character. Yeah. Um, I want to see a good Superman movie. I mean, do you, uh, I don't think I, I like Her- Henry Cavill. Yeah. But I didn't like the movies. Is it Cavill or Cavill? 
uh, well, it might be Cavill. I don't, I don't know. know. Henry Cavill. Oh my goodness. I don't know. He's English. Whatever. But now the they're shadow. talking about. They're talking. Yeah, with uh, Alec, Alec Baldwin. Baldwin. <laughs> that wasn't bad. I didn't yeah, mind that yeah. movie. Okay. Pulp. That was a pulp novel. Yeah. The Shadow so. in a radio show starring Orson Welles. Hmm. See, Citizen but Kane. I like the fact that you're surprised by how many of these movies are actually comic book movies. Well, based on comics, yes, I am surprised. Shocked, that, actually. Yeah, that would be a comic book movie. Yeah. Swamp well, Thing. Swamp Thing. Swamp Thing. Uh, well, the I'm one trying to got, think of one with little lesbians, because that's probably get you to read it. Blue is the warmest color. I already told you. I never heard of that. Yeah, well, That's a up. comic? I bet Rose has read it, um, <laughs> given her love of prison movies. 30 Days of Night, another one. Yeah. Oh, Battle Royale. Do you ever see Battle Royale? Mm -mm. The Japanese. Royale. I think it's a Japanese version. I don't know where it was made of uh, Hunger Games. It's it's Hunger oh. Games, but but different <laughs> and great. Is Battle Royale a comic? Uh, it's, it's obviously it's in the list of based on a comic. So oh. yeah, yeah. Battle Royale. That one you should check out. It's amazing. Directed by Kinji Fujisaka or something like that. Uh, Two thousand came out. It came oh, out long before oh. the Hunger Games, and it's 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 Hunger Games, but Asian style where people are killing each other, and it's great. It's like great. ramped up, ramped up, amped up, and ramped up, and it's just much, much, much better, I think, than the Hunger Games. Well, so we've got a couple. We've got commons: uh, su uh, Superman, Spider Man. Those were big commons, and uh, I say Winter Soldier and the Dark Knight. And the two others for you were what? Other than Superman. Spider Man and Iron Man, and I mean, if, Iron if, Man. if you pin yeah, me Iron down, it's a good call because of Robert Downey. Yeah, I think he made it. Obviously, he, Robert Downey made, made that movie, and without him, the rest of it wouldn't have happened. If, if no, that didn't, like you said, if that weren't successful, the rest of them never would have. Well, they took, you know, they did that little uh, that little thing at the end with uh, Nick Fury after the credits rolled. Yeah, where where that that was a, I mean. That was a risk right there because that intimated they were going to do more of them, right. but they had no idea. Well, they made it what up, but they, they took a risk. They ran, ran the dice, rolled and it the paid dice. Off. And because I think they saw what they had with him. It's a big one. I Even the audition. Yeah, I, I watched the audition of him, and he, he had that character at the audition. Well, that's he's playing. I mean, I hate to say this. He's doing Robert Downey Jr. I mean, it's no. Well, he's great. He's great. He's so, great. yeah, I love it, and it worked. Uh, I forgot this one, The Iron Giant. Is a oh, beautiful film. It's a beautiful yeah. film, and that's I guess that's a comic. Vin book too, Diesel, so. right? Wasn't Vin Diesel the giant? He was the voice, he just was. the voice. Yeah, yeah, he was a, yeah. I know. Yeah, it was a cartoon. He was the voice. It was a cart that wasn't really Vin Diesel, but um, yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh, the Crow, anyway. another one, three hundred. Yeah, you know, again, everybody can look at this list. I Zach hate Snyder. I, I don't want to keep beating the dead horse, but so so okay. So uh, let me just Google movies, and I'll just read the list. We'll do that. That's. I think that would be a good show. Actually, I think that would be good. <laughs> Wow, we have so, sunk to an all-time low. Well, this will probably get a lot of hits. Listen, I didn't, con again, I hear comic I book movies, listen. I hear Marvel, right? Marvel, that's yeah, what I got right. in my head. And I'm like, nope, 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 don't nope. care, don't care, don't care. Turns out, I've seen a lot of films that are based on comics, so. You, you know what's funny surprise, about Marvel in DC? Marvel in DC, I'm a DC guy, always have been. Um, Marvel does a much better job on the movies than DC, but DC does a far better job on the TV shows. It's really strange the way that works. Like uh, we talked about this a couple of days ago, but there's a new Superman on the CW. And, and you know, like I told you, the CW superhero shows, uh, they got way too political, uh, all of them. And I don't want to, you know, when I watch superhero shows, that's not what I'm looking for. This show Kind of went back to the basics of Superman with a with a with a good spin on it. He, him and Lois are married, but they have kids, so you've got that angle, and then you've got the Superman angle. But it's really really well done, and that kind of spurred me to want to do this because I do love that genre. And sometimes it's disappointing when you see something bad, but when you see something good, I love that, you know. And you want to see more of them. Um, yeah. But but that's I, but that's my take on DC and Marvel. It's really strange. I wish DC would do better. And this new Justice League is coming out. The four hour Snyder cut. Um, the first one it had good things in it, but it was pretty bad. Yeah. And and they're spending seventy million bucks on this. I don't know what to the Snyder cut, which is like you could do a whole movie for that. So right. I can't imagine what they're going to do. Well, somebody thinks they're, they're redoing. Uh, um, aren't, aren't they re editing or re? Uh, what's it? Uh, the Suicide Squad. They're doing another. Well, no. What what David Ayers is saying, if this is successful, then they might do 
a director's cut of Suicide Squad well, because that movie, and you can tell uh, in the editing of it that there's a completely different movie. No, but there. I'm saying there's the guy who did Guardians of the Galaxies is doing a version. He's of doing. He's doing the new. No, he's doing it. He's doing a. Uh, so the Suicide Squad is a comic book where. There's different villains in every okay. comic book. It's I not think, always the okay. same. Okay. So he's doing a different group because Will Smith oh. wasn't going to be in again. So it's Ildris, uh, Ildris Elba. Oh, Elba. I Elba. think so. Elba. Uh, oh my God. Uh, we'll Come fix on. that in post. Uh, there's no uh, post. They are it's going on live. They're they're talking mm. about doing a director's cut of the original Suicide Squad because okay. uh, the mo the movie that he made and the movie that right. went out. That, uh, it, were completely they went okay. and it was much darker originally so right. if the justice league does well then you know he might have some credence to do it right we'll and, see you know they, there'll be more joker jared leto's joker probably in there and yes yeah and so. jared leto is going to be in the snyder cut and he wasn't in it originally okay so they're doing new scenes with see, jared I, I just leto. i don't i don't know i i have I know you're not. Uh, I just listen, don't care. It's like it's. I get you know, it. They're fun to watch, but the but fandom like, out there. Look, oh, it wouldn't listen, happen without the without a Comic Con. You name it, you go on on the list. People are dressing up like these. Although kids. I've been to one Comic Con and I I I felt pretty. Even that was too much pretty. for you. Yeah, it was a little too much for me. <laughs> wow, it was. I mean, That's it was amazing. neat to see all the costumes and stuff. Yeah. That was really cool. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I I love the stuff. I don't take it quite as. Although I've got a closet full of superhero costumes, so I really shouldn't say that. Well, that and I never get a chance to wear them. Huh, really? Some Halloweens I wear them. Oh, you do. Yeah, I've got okay. a great uh, Star Lord costume that I haven't worn yet. Is that like what? the whole thing? What's Star Lord? Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, that's uh, Star Lord. Yeah, the main guy, the main kid there. Yeah. Yeah. Peter yeah. Quill. Okay. Now it's Star Lord. What would you do with that? Is that just to go off for Halloween or what? I don't want to know. Halloween you know, I really... parties, costume, okay. costume yeah. parties. Oh, damn yeah. COVID. COVID all right, took all listen, that away. Uh, listen, I appreciate you making an attempt. That's all it was. This podcast, just an attempt. Because it really, that is really all it was. So here's what I'm going to do for you, Ralph. Oh, boy. Um, next week, we're going to bring Drew on for two Qs and a Drew to make a little announcement. But- that whole show can't be about that. So I want you to think about the subject for the next show to include Drew on. So I'm going to let you pick it. Uh, is Drew going to be on the whole show or just we're going to bring him in towards the end of the no, show? No, I think we'll bring him on for the second half. We'll okay. announce So the first half do. is my pick? Yeah. Or my- Short and sweet. My idea? You pick, you pick what- And it can be anything. It doesn't have to even be movies. Okay. We can get back to talking about family that, that nobody wants you to talk, talk about? You want to talk about whatever I, I have you no idea. That's about. a big- It's a big That's, wide open- You've got time to think about it, don't you? Okay. And then if I'm not interested, I'll try to do it like I'm not disinterested, even though it's going to come across that I am disinterested. You mean just like what I just did? Pretty much, yeah. Okay. Well, but we'll this see. is the one, folks. This is the one that if this is the one where you should earn your subscription. I think this is the one. Okay. So share it, like it, hit the subscription, leave some comments down below. Okay. No, has anybody, we got new theme music. We've got great lighting Nobody's now. left a comment except for the one person they on Facebook. They leave it on Facebook. Yeah, That's well, the problem. Whatever. So Obviously, there's a reason. So All right. Um, Ralph, yep. good luck with your water heater. Oh, uh, yeah. We'll see what happens. Yep. I mean, just got to put don't it. Don't screw around with that. You don't want taking cold showers all the time. Oof, that, was, that was brutal. Uh, yeah. Ooh, I got to call someone good. in the that's morning, see how time. quick it comes. Yeah, it's it's not pretty. Okay. But thank you. Um. But I appreciate you on the um, look. Uh, and again, I'm going to leave links down below for the movies. We talk about Wonder Woman, Superman. Uh, we do a whole show on those. I'll leave those links below. You can check those out too. And uh, we always appreciate you guys listening. And we'll see you next week. Ralph, stay safe. And I hope you get a hot shower soon. We're doing the best. Have a good week. I'll talk get to you soon. Get the music going. That'll keep me warm. I love that theme music. music That's Chris's music. Yeah. All right. Bye.